In this video, I'll be showing you how to make double half hitches from the left to the right and then back from the right to the left. Uh, this is a macrame technique, which is really great for accessories and jewellery, and we've used it in our macrame choker pattern, and it looks like this. So we've started off with seven strands, um, but you can use any number that you want, and we've knotted our strands around one of our mini trigger rings, but you can tie your strands around anything, doesn't matter. So spread your strands out so you can see them nice and clearly. Take the strand on the far left and lay it across your other six strands, like so. Now, to work your first double half hitch, pick up the strand on the far left and pass it over the strand that lies across and then under, like so. Then take that same strand pass it over the strand that lies across and then take it under that flat strand and through the loop that you've just formed and pull it tight. Now the first one's always a bit fiddly but it does get easier the more double half hitches that you make. And you may also want to pull on that strand that's laid flat across so that you don't end up with a bump. You want it to be nice and streamlined with the rest of the braid. So that's your first double half hitch. And now we're going to just repeat those steps until we've incorporated all of these strands and worked six double half hitches in total. So take your next strand, fold it up like so, and then you're going to take it underneath that flat strand, then fold the strand up again, take it underneath and loop it through this loop that you made and gently tighten. Like so, and you want to try and get all these strands so they're a similar length so that your line of double half hitches lies nice and flat. So let's see that again. Fold the strand up, take it underneath and to the left of sort of the top area of the strand, pull it down, take it up to the right of the top area of the strand and through that loop that you just formed and tighten it off. And just continue working across, up, under to the left, up, under to the right, and through the loop. Up, under to the left. to the right and through the loop. And pull on that strand just to make sure you don't have a strange loop at the other end. And now you're going to work your final strand in the row of double half hitches. Like so. So there is your first line of double half hitches working from left to right. So now you're going to work back across from right to left and the technique is essentially the same, you're just working back across in the opposite direction. So take this strand and lie it back across your other six strands. For this particular design we've done a zigzagging arrangement, so rather than laying the strand directly beneath, 
we've laid it at an angle, but it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Take your strand on the far right, take it underneath this strand to the left, and then underneath this strand to the right and through the loop. And then tighten it off. And then pull on that flat strand so you don't end up with any odd loops at the edge. Like so. And just repeat that technique to work back across to the far side. So over to the left, and then over to the right, and through that loop. Over to the left, over to the right, and through the loop. Over to the left, over to the right, And you can see I've gradually increased how long the gaps between these double half hitches are to create the zigzag. So there you have it. That's what it looks like when you've worked two lines of double half hitches, one from left to right and one from right to left. So just keep on repeating those steps until your braid is your desired length.